and always a reminder for myself and abdukul hajisu da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence, alhamdulillah that we talked last night on understanding translations and how shaitan manipulates the belief system is to alter the translation and interpretation of words. And then a whole generation will be raised with a false understanding of words that turn into sentences that form ideas and that is an immense danger. And the issue we talked about last night in the interpretation of the word rap and what they attributed to the word Lord which is actually should be interpreted as the authority or your master. And lordship is not a word that's understood in English anymore because of demonocracy. Anyone who comes from countries that have monarchies, the liege lord is the king. So they would understand that interpretation of the word in reference to Lord. Rabb is an authority and who is your master? And the master most high Rabbi al-A'la is Allah But there are levels of authority. So people have demons whom are authorities over them, bad characters authority over them, evilness as an authority over them. Then they have dunya in which the police are authorities over them, they are the rap, the armies that are authority over them, they are the rap. If you doubt that step out of line and see if they shoot you. So Allah gave them a badge and an authority. So this is a dunya level authority. And then there are the spiritual ranks of authority in which Allah Zawajal, Atiullah, Atiya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. Obedience and authority is not in reference to worshipness. Only worshipness is for Allah Zawajal and ilahiya and making something divine. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Then decrees you have to worship it. So worshipness in our sharia is only for Allah Zawajal. But when Marifa teaches people authority and obedience, Allah requires within Qur'an to obey Allah's commands, Atiullah. And we start with every sawbat and Mawlana Shaykh started with every sawbat, Wa Atiya Rasul, there's no worshipness, it's called obedience, Ata is to obey. So Allah commands us to obey Allah, to obey Rasulullah and ulul amri minkum and the, the men of authority, the people of authority whom have dominion over you of the physical and spiritual ranks. The Atiullah, Atiya Rasul ulul amri minkum forms the sharia. Obedience to Allah is known as Qur'an, obedience to Prophet is known as hadith, 
obedience to ulul amri minkum is then the case studies, the jurisprudence and all the fatwas that lay down the precedence of everything that was established in the nation in the world of Islam. So then this in the way of marifa has a tremendous importance. When Allah is making reference to the word Rabb and throughout the Qur'an has the reference to the word Rabb and the du'as have reference to the word Rabb and this is understanding of authority that whom has authority over you. And the verse that somebody asked from Surat Al-Kahf to challenge this actually is the proof of this teaching. It wasn't 42, it was verse 18 uh, in reference to when Ashab Al-Kahf Allah describes these kings and when you listen to the king he's your Rabb, that when their Rabb decided to become an ilah and Allah warns that anytime your Rabb or your authority declares himself a divinity run because this is from shaitan and takes you out of your religion. So that's exactly what's being taught that you have to obey the Rabb your king, your authority, those whom have authority over you and you run from anyone who takes their authority and begins to decree themselves as something divine, ilahi. And as soon as that played an interview for George Soros appeared and he says, you know have uh, immense power on this earth and it occurred to me very young in age that I'm actually a god. Mm. So he took his authority, shaitan played with him like Qur'an says and that he found himself to be divine in nature as if he's untouchable and nothing can reach to him. So this is the, the tricks and the guile and the playings of shaitan. But in the way of marifa we must know our authority over us. And this is from the hadith of Prophet Arifa nafsuhu then Arifa rabbahu. So the one whom takes a life in which to understand their nafs, their desires, their ego will begin to understand what really is an authority over them and that becomes the tariqah. So the first level of authority for the one whom sits and meditates, if the person is not taught to meditate now you see the danger. They will never think what is an authority over them. They think that they are servants of Allah or they found a shaykh and they say, I follow this shaykh so which is absolutely incorrect. The one whom meditates and begins to study his ego realizes, no actually my vice, my evil desires, my wants, they are authorities over me. I can't control my eating, it's an authority over me. I can't control drinking and smoking, it is my Rabb, not Rabbi al-A'la. Means we don't lie to ourselves and we don't lie to Allah And this is tariqah comes to take away hypocrisy. So 99% of people say, no, my Lord is Allah. So, no, you're not true. Your Lord is actually your desires. That's why Arafa Rabbahu, who looks at their nafs and, and begins to analyze their nafs, their anger is their Lord. How come you can't control it? Means they have even different characteristics that are authorities over them. And that's why the word authority is much better understood than lordship and associating lordship with worshipness. This has nothing to do with worshipness. In your worshipness all of that is a movement to the Divine and the highest point of worshipness is in sujood. And what do you say in sujood? Subhana Rabbi al-Ala means what? The glory be to the authority most high. 
Most High that whatever I'm doing, wherever I'm facing and whatever I've done throughout my day, glory be to the Most High authority in which maybe I didn't listen to His decrees. I definitely don't follow them if I have bad character but in my sujood I glorify and magnify that authority. So the worshipness is the act but identifying the authority is important. So then these subjects of marifa have to become very clear. That's why marifa means that you are now leaving kindergarten and finger painting in which you're actually trying to make an immensely important piece of art. You're not finger painting, you leave the silliness of generalizing everything and to go towards very specific realities and understandings. Allah wants to clarify for us that you are moving towards the authorities and that you have many authorities governing you. If you can break the chains of the lower authorities, your vices and your bad desires, I will introduce you to the heavenly authorities in which they begin to traverse. So they begin to listen to Allah they begin to obey the sunnah and the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and then what? They must be with Ulul Amri minhum. And that's why Allah is then giving to them that, you must be with these authorized servants. They represent the king and they represent the kingdom and every authority and every reality has a name. We got to this whole subject by Iqra bi ismi rabbik. Iqra bi ismi rabbik, read in the name of your Lord. Why? Alama isma kullaha. What did Allah teach Sayyidina Adam salam? That this is grapefruit, this is banana, these are cherries. And the angels they went into sujood, they were astonished, how He knows all the names of the fruits? No, Allah taught him the names of everything and most likely the names of all those in authority. And to know the names of the angels and to know the names of all spiritual authorities gives you an authority amongst them. Because in what name are you going to read something? If we don't know that in marifa, because marifa is all about the wazifas, the awrads and the du'as, that Allah is commanding, read that name now that you know, it's a secret name given for you, Bismi Rabbik. It's not the same name you're going to read, what Prophet reads means he mentions a name in which his heart begins to open by the command of Allah So your authority has a name and these authorities and the names of these authorities are important in the way of marifa. Those whom Allah grants an authority they are taught the names. So if you've seen our du'a ayat al kursi the khadam and the servant of this ayat al kareem which is immensely power, powerful, Malik al Khandiyas is the servant of Ayatul Kursi. It doesn't come to anybody, this is not a regular knowledge. Bismi Rabbik, why? Because Allah is giving to them in that name you read, you've got their attention. So imagine somebody's outside your building saying, hey, hey, who's hey? There's 500 of us inside this building because that's the common person making du'a just in general. 
But the way of marifah is not like that. Why? Because they must at least be inheriting from Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam. وَعَلَمَ اسْمَ كُلَّهَا And the angels went into prostration. He knows the names of all the authorities. And if he calls upon these authorities, they're obliged to answer to him. As a result, he is a very powerful individual and this is power and Divinely Presence. If Allah teach you the name, every secret has a name and every name has a secret. The one whom given the names, given the secret. And that's why we started this whole subject on Bismi Rabbik is that one must begin to know themselves, their authority. So in the name of your authority read. In the name of your authority you'll be granted. So who's your authority? They say, oh Allah means you're now going straight to Rabbil Allah. You're going to and because of demonocracy we don't understand anymore. So if we all lived in a monarchy and a king and you're a guy in a town and you call information say, give me the phone number to the king. The secret police shows up at your house and say, what are you talking about? What are you, what are you doing? Who are you? What are you, what are you talking about? means that the chain of command in which somebody calls and the people whom he's been introduced to are his importance and his power in life. He knows the governor, from the governor he knows the chief of police, from chief of police he knows chief of security. When he has all of these contacts slowly he'll be introduced into those inner circles. So when the way of marifa is not any more childish just calling out to Allah Allah wants them to know, bi ismi rabbik, how come you're not mentioning the lords of your authority and you're just throwing this du'a out because the way of marika very precise. Then in what name are you asking and with what authority are you showing by asking that name? And that's what's the importance. They understood, how are you going to ask for Allah when you don't know even the name of Prophet to get that du'a to be authorized or to get your najat in what you're asking for or the presence that you're asking to be entered in. And if you don't know the name from Prophet means you don't even have that relationship yet, then in what name of the ulul am? They say, oh I'm not even with an ulul am. But then you can see how far you are from the real religion. That Allah has a Divinely Kingdom and Allah's closer to you than your jugular vein but wants to know how come you don't have any names of authorities? You don't even know your character, how it's an authority over you? But the ones whom He has inspired in training they now understand their vices and bad characters and they begin to fight them. They understand that their life is in need of these ulul amr and they seek them out. With the ulul amr they begin to be inspired that, I have to learn how to connect my heart with this authorized servant, that he's a representative of the king. And if I want an audience with the king, I have to listen to the decree of this ulul am that he is an authority over me. <coughs> and I return myself to his authority. Meaning what? That I came from the wildness of the jungle in which I thought I can run like a baboon through the jungle doing what I want and I give back my hand to you under the kingdom of Muhammadun Rasulullah And I'm asking for entrance into that kingdom. And as soon as they understood this, this is their allegiance. 
is that I'm taking the hand of the owner, I'm is my authority. You represent the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad from Atiullah to your Rasulullah ul Amri Minkum. And my job is to return back to the presence of Prophet be taught the names, the realities and the, the haqqaiqs so that I can be a true servant of obedience to Allah And that's why the bayat that the ulul am Allah gives the warning. Inna ladina yubayyunaka yubayyunullah and that if you break it, you broke to your own detriment. Why? Because it's your soul and it's, it's a contract with the king and you're putting your hand back to the authority of the king and recognizing that you have authority over me in dunya and akhirah and you'll take me to the highest authority. Rabbil A'la and that is the return towards the kingdom. Marifa, Allah wants us to know the details. Those whom are not enlisted in Marifa, change the, the, the video very quick because it's not going to make any sense for you. Those whom Allah authorized to reach towards the ways of Marifa and Gnosticism mainly from Western countries is why? He's granting them the details of the heavenly kingdom. It's not sufficient for them say, Allah. Allah wants them to know the authority and the system, isma kullaha. Why was that so important that the angels had to bow down to Him? And that's exactly what Allah wants, wa lakal karamna bani adam. If I honour my servant, I honour him with the names and realities. This is the honour that I grant to these servants. But the one whom I don't grant this honour and this authority, the names are not important for them at all. Means they, they live a, a very different life. Their understanding what they know is sufficient for them. But when Allah wants to bring the servant towards the kingdom, they can't make mistakes. So when Sayyidina Ibrahim and he was 13 years old when Ayatul Kareem described that he in his meditation and tafakkur he came amongst the stars and said, are you my Lord? And they said, no, we're not your Lord. He came into the association of awliya and the lights of these awliya they're not Allah, they're not ilah, means this is a, an explanation towards this heavenly kingdom. He came across the moon and its authority, means this is maqam al-fardani. These are the sultan al-awliya that represent those associations. And they said, no it sets, means the light of this is not something that's self-sufficient, it comes from Allah and their authority, they're not ilah. Means Allah is only one to be worshipped. Means He came to the maqam al-fardani in His spiritual approach at 13, 14 years old Sayyidina Ibrahim was continuously in seclusions. And then He came to Allah described Ayatul Akbar which is the shams, means to the presence of the king and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Shams al-Arafeen, the, the light and the sun, the fire of all fires. And Allah describes, this is Ayatul Akbar, this is the, the greatest sign of Allah and still it's not ilahi and that too Allah's presence is Allah So means these are the ways of marifa and the ways of understanding these, these huruf and these kalam and the importance in setting off on the month of Muharram with a clear understanding that authority and whom has authority over us and that we pray that Allah grant us to fight the lower desires and enter into the realities of the higher authorities. And then which Rabb and which authority Allah has governed us by His names and Divinely names. 
Every servant has a name of Allah that is a rub over him in their way of marifah they'll begin to learn that what name and attribute of Allah governs you and that you can never move outside of that rub on outside of that authority. If Allah gives you from the name, let's say the name that governs you is Kareem, means then you are eternally dressed with generosity and the authority of that name governs your character. But shaitan can make you be generous for shaitans, that you go and buy every forbidden for everyone and that's also generous because he wants to use the attribute of people for himself and for his kingdom. And the job of guides is to take people back so that they use the attribute that Allah gave to them for the Divinely Presence and to be of service to Sayyidina Muhammad so that your generosity is towards the heavenly kingdom and the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad the authorized Malik, the authorized King of Allah InshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.